Hey guys, it's Kyle with Grooves Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Fate of the Furious. Now, Fate of the Furious has been out for about three weeks now, and they just passed the one billion dollar mark. Uh, I think it was last weekend. Now, if you guys haven't seen Fate of the Furious and you're a fan of the Fast and Furious series, go see it. It is, it is a good addition to the series. Uh, this is the eighth one, if you guys didn't know. Um, pretty much the premise of it is Vin Diesel's character, Dom Toretto, goes rogue. And they have to team up with uh, Jason Statham. And they have to, you know, work together to bring down Dom. And it's a good movie. I really like the action in it. It's really funny. Uh, Jason Statham plays with the baby, which I thought was kind of cute. They did he did a really good job with that. Put headphones on the baby. I don't want to give too much away if you guys haven't seen it, but it's it's a worthy contender in the uh, Fast and Furious series. Um, had a really good script. Uh, Clint Eastwood's son, Scott Eastwood, was in it, and he did a really good job. I'm hoping to see him again. I think they're slated to make two more Fast and Furious movies. Uh, who knows what they'll do after the tenth one. Maybe they'll go more, maybe they won't. Um, I think it's all up to the studio, really, because if they're making a billion dollars a movie, then, of course, they're going to keep making them. Uh, but if it falls down, then, you know, they might not make any more. Who knows? But uh, The Rock and uh, Jason Statham, they, did, they had really good on-screen chemistry. Of course, you know, Kurt Russell's back in it as Mr. Nobody. Um, then all the, all the people from, you know, like five, six and seven, they return like Ludacris, Tyrese Gibson, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, you know, people like that. Um, they did not have, uh, Paul Walker's wife, Mia Toretto, Dom's little sister. They didn't have her in it or the baby because, you know, after Paul Walker passed away, during the uh, filming of the seventh one, they decided that <clears throat> it would be better if they left everybody out like that. Just because, you know, it's like a farewell. Seven was the perfect farewell for Paul Walker. Um, I think it would kind of ruin the essence of Paul Walker if they brought like his baby and his wife into it and then just kind of left him out of it. I know they got Paul Walker's brother to finish the uh, the... Paul Walker scenes, they use CGI to put Paul Walker's face on him. But, you know, Fate of the Furious did a lot of stuff right, and they were actually talking about a spinoff with The Rock and Jason Statham's characters, which I'm kind of interested to see, see where they go with that. I think it'll be pretty good. They're they're really funny together, they do. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for one of them to beat the crap out of each other. I think that should be in one of these movies. They just have a disagreement, and then just start brawling across the floor like a couple of kids. I think that would be really funny to see. So, you know, I'll give... I'd give it an 8 out of 10, just because, you know, it's the 8th one in the series. They did a really good job with it. I was really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, Some of the stuff, they kind of jumped around a lot. You know, one minute, you know, they're one place and then all of a sudden they're like in Russia and they, they explain why they go places, but I just think it jumps around too much. So that's why I give it an eight out of 10. The acting was superb. Um, the, the sound effects were really good. They were on point. So if you guys haven't seen fate of the furious and you're a fan of the fast and furious movies or just, you know, action movies in general, I would I would definitely go see it. Um, it'll probably be out for another you know few weeks. Maybe it'll hit you know one point five billion dollars. Who knows? But you know this is Kyle with Gru's Reviews. If you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.